Hello and welcome to Infinity. Let's have a look at using the luminosity mask to help create tints and other effects on an image. And the luminosity mask is from here. If I hold down Control, Shift and click on that, that's what I get. That's the luminosity selection. To turn this into a mask, I click on the mask tool here and it fades off this picture here. That's rather strange, really. We can actually select and deselect that. We're going to move this in a minute, so don't worry about it. We'll just turn the mask off for now. We're going to click on here and we're going to put a add pixel layer above this, which starts off empty. But we can then pick a colour, use the flood fill tool, then pick a colour here, say. Let's just make it holy red. And we click on that and that completely covers the top layer with red. But if we take this mask now, we'll turn it on again for now and we'll move it up here till we get the vertical layer on the pixel layer here on that little vertical blue. I haven't quite mixed it there, sorry, let's go again. There we go. So the mask now is attached to the pixel layer. We've masked this layer and we now can see the layer underneath being shown. If I turn off this bottom layer, you can see that effectively what you've got is red with some transparency in it. So that's a bit harsh unless you want to do that sort of thing. So we can always turn it down. There we go. And the good way is to turn right down to the, to the bottom and turn it up if you want to provide a tint like this to an image. And then you can do other things with that as well. Uh, and you can also, a simple way to experiment with different colours is rather than play around with filling this thing again here, is we come down here and put a hue, saturation and luminosity on here. And now using the hue, we can change this to all the different colours in the rainbow just by playing up and down until we've got a tint that we like that seems to work with this sort of image. So there we go. Let's delete that now because we're going to try something else again. If we take this top layer now and we're going to fill it with black. So let's just go back to black here. We've got the flood fill tool and we click on top of that. The opacity here is low, but if you turn it all the way up, you get a very sort of weird effect here. If you take the bottom off, you can see there, it's it's almost like a black and white image, but it's got transparency in it. But because of this grey, this grey reminds us that, if you know about this effect, that when you've got grey, it will... There we go. If we go down to Overlay, grey is effectively transparent on the overlay, soft light, hard light, and these few here. So clicking there, look now what we've got. It's quite an interesting effect here. And the boat is darkened significantly, but the, the rest of the picture is kind of, you know, it's, it's brightened up as well, but it's quite a different picture. If we turn that off there, there's the original, and here's that change. So we've, we've had a, we've made an effect here. That's quite interesting. Again, we can always turn this down. We can also play with masks and things here because if I just alt click on that mask there, you can see this here, there's a lot of grey in it. So this is having an effect on the, the boat and so on. And the white here punches through. So if I paint this a bit more white, then that effect's not going to be quite so strong. So click on the mask layer, so I'm going to be painting onto this. Click on my brush over here, go to white. Uh, now I think we need to go to black, don't we? Turn it. There we go. You can see the effect. This is another great thing with Affinity. You just move it around and you'll see what's going to happen. So all I need to do is paint on this. I'm just, and it's going back. Notice here, I've got fairly high opacity, but it returns the boat to its original colouring, so we can have that interesting effect as well. 
by changing everything else and then going this is too much let's take it back or we can go to the history panel here go back here and put that back in again because we can also play around click on here again we got overlay let's see what other effects we have and we just leave, literally scan down here these here and see what effects they have and see if there's anything interesting coming up there we go that's Oh, that's kind of interesting one, isn't it? There you go. Exclusion or subtract. You're getting this effect here because it's subtracting that mask colour from it. Then go down here. Luminosity. Oh, that's going to be colour. But this is just a thing to do is very simply just scan over the top of these and say, oh, that's interesting. And even if we turn the opacity down, you can have different effects here change that to say 50 then you get different effects sometimes things come out nicely or not and so on we could play all day at it but the bottom line there is what we're doing is if you remember was control shift and click on the image here use that to create a mask and then shift the mask up to mask a pixel layer where we change the color and then if we want to, we can change the blend modes here and see what happens. Oh, there we go. That's one fun one. And uh, thank you very much for watching.